Letitia, 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 Letitia. Big Shane James, holy macadamia nut. Isn't it funny how all of these people coming after Trump, Letitia, Big Shane James, Fanny Cash Money G. Willis, corrupt Judge Ergeron, Bergeron, Dergeron, whatever, they're all these like DEI hires. They're all a byproduct of these, you know, people who have miserable lives and they have no idea what it takes or how to manifest and create innovation in our country, create promise, create opportunities. They just want to bring down those that are successful. They think that they know what's better for us, the American public, than we ourselves do. So they're going to decide who we get to vote for, how we get to vote for them, what we get to do. They can seize our property anytime they want. A lot of stuff. Holy mackerel. A lot of stuff happening here with Letitia Big Shane James. Um, she has uh, just filed a new um, registration in Westchester County where Trump's uh, estate is, as well as his golf course. She is planning on seizing his assets. Uh, I want to share a couple of clips. The title of this video, uh, Letitia James just got President uh, Trump elected. I can't wait for you to see this because it's going to all make sense. This is not clickbait, but I want to show a, a real quick clip of Missouri AG Anthony uh, Andrew uh, Bailey talking about this latest registration that Letitia James. Remember, Trump has to make this bond by Monday, I believe, the 26th. Um, I could have that wrong. I'll double check. Um, or else if he doesn't pay the $400 million, $450 million in cash, Letitia James is going to seize his property, seize Trump Tower, seize the golf course, seize his estate, and more and more. Check out what uh, Attorney General Bailey says right here about that. I think this is really interesting. This is a gross miscarriage of justice. Remember, this was a fraud trial. The only fraud here is that AG Letitia James is masquerading as a competent attorney. Look at some of her pleadings. There's no reference to case law. And why is that? It's because there's no legal authority for what she's doing. Let's remember, this was a civil fraud trial where the claim was that banks gave loans to President Trump based on misrepresentation. And yet Letitia James isn't going after those banks for failing to do their due diligence uh, when providing those loans. The only reason they provided those loans, in fact, was because President Trump is a brilliant businessman who was enormously successful and made tons of money for these banks and every other investor. And Letitia James hates that. She hates his success. And so she's weaponized the justice system against him. And it's it's terrible for all Americans. It's a it undermines due process and undermines the rule of law. Let's face it, she campaigned on going after Trump. She's going after Trump. I think that's well said, and I couldn't agree more with the AG of Missouri there. Um, you've got, I, I, you know, I mentioned this before that all of these people that are going after Trump and claiming that he, somebody who broke the law, he breaks the law, he's a narcissist, he does whatever he wants, he thinks he can get away with things. These are the people who think they can get away with things. Cash Money G. Willis, Fannie Willis, who lies under oath, commits perjury, commits financial conflict of interest, hires Nathan Wade, uh, does all these egregious things over and over and over again. And she calls Trump the hypocrite. She calls Trump the criminal. Letitia James, check this out. Letitia James is accused of bullying women with transport stance in a new federal lawsuit. So she's facing a new federal lawsuit uh, because she ordered Nassau County to cease and desist a new ban on biological males competing in female sports. So she basically said that, no, biological males can compete in female sports, which is an absolute atrocity. It's anti-American. It's anti-everything that we've known traditionally for hundreds of years. And then local leaders responded with a federal lawsuit declaring that, what she's doing is she's being a bully against women. So she's facing that, okay? Just like with Fannie Willis. You see the state Senate committee with Bill Counselor, they're going after her for financial infractions. It's the same hypocrisy over and over again. But it's not It's not over there yet. It's not done there yet. I know some of you guys have heard about this very recently. But the hypocrisy of uh, Letitia James continues with this Irish society building debt that was unpaid 
And so, uh, and by the way, De Niro's involved in this too. So the Cahill family and President Emeritus Dr. Kevin Cahill are accused of treating the townhouse, this Irish townhouse, as their own private club. Society's financial woes and dysfunction had reached a crisis point in 2021 when he tried to sell the building, that's Cahill, for 52 million, later reduced to 44. He died the following year. And in stepped Letitia Big Shame James, citing a petition she had never received opposing the, sa the sale. She never received opposition. She announced that by state law, any sale of non-profit asset had to be approved by her, effectively kiboshing the plan. Letitia James appointed an interim board of directors and Doyle was persuaded to not try to collect his money or foreclose or mortgage before July, 2023. But by August, 2023, it still hadn't been repaid. So he initiated foreclosure proceedings and promptly was blocked by Letitia Big Shame James, who claimed the mortgage was invalid because he was a board member. Doyle's lawyer, Tom Paritori, alleges that James' enthusiastic involvement in the Doyle case may be driven by, quote-unquote, alleged connections with the defendant. Oh, we got your big game, Letitia James. And he points out that the uncanny similarities between his client's predicament and the notorious case James brought against Donald Trump for supposedly inflating the value of his properties, Mar-a-Lago to be more specific, although her office is now taking a polar opposite position. Wow, isn't that interesting? The lawsuit alleges that Doyle was given fraudulently inflated valuations of the townhouse, putting it at market value of over 80 million. Letitia Big Game James said nobody's above the law. Remember that? Well, she's aiding and abetting in the art of the steel that she claims that Trump is right here with this building. The organization fraudulently inflated the value of their building to induce my client, Priority says, into giving them a mortgage, which Big Game Letitia James is now trying to help these fraudsters avoid having to repay. The hypocrisy is mind-blowing. Okay, so we have all of these things coming against uh, Letitia Big Game James. The hypocrisy just keeps unfolding more and more and more with all of these fraudsters going after our former president and going after, you know, they keep saying democracy is on the ballot. What they're essentially trying to do is eliminate democracy and interfere with, they say, they claim Trump interfered with 2020. They're interfering with the 2024, the current election right now. So Letitia James is also in a major panic because Trump just announced that he has the $500 million in cash to squash uh, uh, Letitia James's nefarious attempts at seizing his properties. Check this out right here. Trump now says on social, uh, Tr Truth Social he's close to raising the funds needed for the $454 million bond from his New York civil case. Trump writing on Truth Social, quote, through hard work, talent, and luck, I currently have almost $500 million in cash, a substantial amount of which I intend to use in my campaign for president. So the question is, if he's got the money, is he going to use it for the campaign or to give it to Letitia James? I guess I'm not. So what do you think about that, Letitia Big Shame James? He's got the money. He's got the money. I still don't think he's going to pay her. He's going to get out of this. Something's going to happen because of what the clip that you're about to see right now from Frank Lutz, who is not a Trump supporter, saying this on CNN. In regards to Letitia Big Shame James is going to help get Donald Trump elected. Let's watch this clip and then I'll tell you my thoughts. Check this out. Maybe they are already starting to refer to Donald Trump as broke Don, which is interesting. And then there is the possibility that the New York Attorney General Letitia James would have to start or would start seizing assets, maybe even buildings. How do you think that would play? I want you to remember this moment and don't forget it. If the New York Attorney General starts to take his homes away, starts to seize his assets, it's all going to be on camera. Pundits are going to sit there and scream about this. This man cannot be elected. You're going to create the greatest victimhood of 2024, and you're going to elect Donald Trump. 
if they take his stuff, he's going to say that this is proof that the federal government and the establishment and the swamp in Washington and all the politicians across the country and the attorneys generals and all of this, that this is a conspiracy to deny him the presidency. He's going to go up in the polls just like he went up every single time they indicted him. The indictment, um, let's not talk about whether it's justified or not, but it will prove the things that he's saying on the campaign trail, and he will go up, and it may just elect him president. Do not forget that. And I say this to the attorney general right now. If you play politics on this, this is what the secretaries of state did in Colorado and what they did in, I believe, it was Maine. His numbers went up in both states. I don't understand. I'm almost speechless in how pathetic the opposition to Trump has been and how completely misguided. And this is a perfect example of it. No, I don't always agree with Frank Lutz, uh, but uh, I couldn't agree more. Yeah. I mean, it, it's baffling to me. And, and you're, that's why you're seeing a lot of centrists like me starting to go, I've said this many, many times on this channel, you guys are unrecognized. You're not the left anymore. You're not even the far left or even the radicalized extreme left. You are off the spectrum. You're left of Lenin. You're left of left of left. You're unrecognizable. What you guys are doing now, the policies you're enacting, the actions and processes and systems that you are governing and putting into place makes zero sense. That's why you're seeing a lot of people say, you know what? Enough is enough. You're throwing our country in the toilet. You're acting very totalitarian. You're acting like communist China. You're putting, uh, you're weaponizing these departments of justice going after political opponents like we're some kind of banana republic. Enough is enough. Do you think that's going to stop Letitia Big Shane James? I mean, I, I think that was very cogent, sober, thoughtful, and insightful by Frank Luntz. So I, I, I'm really, really interested to hear what you guys think. Um, this is the same reason why I kind of brought this up, you know, a few weeks back, a few months back, saying maybe we don't want cash money G Fanny was to be disqualified because of this same very reason. I even brought up very similar uh, evidentiary basises that Frank is, that Mr. Luntz is, um, which I respect him profusely now after him saying this. Um, maybe we want cash money G Willis on this case because she's so incompetent. Her credibility is completely uh, pummeled. She has no credibility. The stain and the stench of mendacity on this entire thing that's shrouded this entire case is absolutely voluminous and abundant. Maybe we want her to stay because it's just going to help Trump. So uh, even if she does go after, even if Letitia Big Shame James does go after uh, Trump, is it really going to hurt him? I would love to hear from you guys. What do you guys think of all this? What do you guys think of the hypocrisy? The whole purpose of my channel is I love my country. I'm sick and tired of seeing this. I'm sick and tired of them going after people with smiles, claiming they're on the side of righteousness when they are bleeding hypocrisy through every pore. I mean, they are stenchy. They are stinky. They are filthy. I've seen them. I've worked with them. I know them. They're full of it. And you know what it is? What do you guys think? I throw this off to you. Let me know in the comments. I try really hard to respond to all of them as always. Obviously, new members get first priority. Super chat, chat uh, super thanks get first priority. Um, consider becoming a member. It only costs uh, one cup of coffee to support this channel, support the truth, support your country because mainstream media doesn't share this stuff. Legacy media doesn't talk about this stuff. The fact that Frank Luntz went on CNN and said this is even more profound because uh, I'm surprised they didn't cut that off. Uh, it's really, really telling and revealing. But I'd love to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments. If you made it this far, become a Nez Nation Insider. It's our free newsletter. It's absolutely free. There's a link in the pinned comment, in the show notes, and the description of this video. Check it out. All you do is click on the link, click on the option that says free newsletter, give us your best email, and you'll never miss out. It's your sure-proof, fail-safe way of never missing out on new videos, live streams, updates, breaking news, top stories, everything. So make sure that you do that. And don't forget to check out these videos right here that I posted today and yesterday. They are awesome. Subscribe and follow down there. As always, Nez Nation, God bless you. God bless your families. And God bless America. I'll see you soon.